Yo guys, what is up? Hope you guys are all doing well, enjoying life. In today's video, we're gonna be doing a Lightroom Classic tutorial and we're gonna be doing it with this picture here. You guys always seem to love this shot, so we're gonna be doing it with this. And this is actually the reason Golden Dream exists. I made that preset after I did this edit, did that edit and I was like, damn, I love that so much. Let's turn that into a preset. Okay, and here we are guys, we're in Lightroom. Look at that, no mucking around today, straight in there. Here we are in my favorite application because I'm here 24 seven. You guys can see here in the right hand corner, if anybody wants to know the settings of this picture, here they are. Take a good look, 50 millimeter shot with the F1.8, ISO 125, which I always keep super low. And F1.8, that was the lowest the lens could go down to and 1800 for the shutter speed. Camera, this was shot on the Canon R10, which is a great camera. I was using that camera for a bit. So great, highly recommend it. Very good, very good guys. Very worth, well worth the price. Bring the highlights down. Exposure as well, I'm gonna bring the exposure down a little bit as well, cause we can play with it after. Next one, I always bring the clarity up just a little bit. I don't like bringing the clarity up too much because once you bring it up too much, you can see it starts to look really weird and that is not what we want. A bit of saturation. How are you guys doing anyway? As you guys go along, remember you can always hit Y and that is a key that's just gonna save your life. <laughs> if you start getting too crazy because that is before and after. Yeah, so Y. So let's bring a little bit more saturation in there. What are your guys' plans for Christmas? Let me know in the comments, I would love to know. I have no idea what I'm gonna do for Christmas. What I usually do every year here in Barcelona is have an open door policy. So I usually tell everyone who doesn't have friends or family to come over and make themselves at home. We usually start from 11, like yeah, 11 a.m. So I'm gonna bring the blues down a little bit here in this one, a green, let's do a Bit of a classic. And then I'll just leave the blue as it is. So yeah, but this year I have no idea. It's gonna be, it should be fun, should be fun. Gonna bring the greens down. You guys can't really see them that much. You really have to pay attention. For example, if you guys have a look over here, you can see when I change this, the green is changing. Next one, gonna bring the blues down here, but still saturation down as well. So it isn't overpowering, but still we have the color. You can always click this as well, and if you hold it down, then you can see the before and after of what you've done just for that one section. Low battery, please, no. Let's see, with the magentas, I'm gonna bring the color down while the saturation down in here, not too much, because you can see that's kind of on her face. Next one, to get that golden dream effect, what I did in my last preset, this is where all of the magic happens, guys. The mid-tones, I would say more or less around about here. And these movements as well are just really, really small movements. Otherwise, if you get too carried away, they change really quickly. Come down here to the grain, and we want some grain in there, Let's say about 11. Okay, now we have the base foundation, and let's go Y again. You can see the before and after. Yes, we have that golden look. Now we can bring the exposure back up. Come over here to masking. You can select, let's go to subject first. Lightroom has just made it so easy. So we can bring the exposure up. Maybe a little more. Okay, and then if we come down here again, we can select people, select people, facial skin. This is why they made it so easy with this. Come down here to texture. Let's bring that down. So you guys can see, let's add some more light in here. Highlights down and I'm gonna come down here to dehaze and just make it a little hazier. Okay, so the next thing we can do is, let's say, let's boost that exposure up a little bit more to make it a bit brighter. I might actually bring the temperature up a little bit more and check it out, boom. That gave it a little bit more of a gold touch. The same again down here, I'm gonna come into the highlights 
let's bring them higher and maybe a little more this way. Again, let's see what we've done before and after. Another thing you can do here is get a linear gradient and just pull it this way. And this is something that I usually do, which looks super cool and gives it more of a dreamy look. You guys can see, if you bring, if you bring dehaze down, it makes it kind of foggy. For me, I don't really like having chunks in the sky, so that looks great to me. I'm gonna make her face just a little bit brighter again with another mask. And then next we have the eyes. So Lightroom has made it super easy again. You can just come down here and you can choose iris. First I'll do this, bring these up. And I love working with models with eyes like this because when they have eyes like this, you can just make the edits look crazy. I love them. So I feel like that's a little too much, but as a base foundation, I'm just gonna bring them to about 30, saturation up a little bit. And one thing that I do is bring the sharpness up as well. So now we have some color, they're nice and bright. Let's bring the sharpness up. I'm gonna come over here to mask again, brush. And now we can make just some areas brighter than the others, just to make give them that final pop like that. So it's so crazy because with some eyes, I feel like if you do this and you just go over a little bit too much, you can ruin it. I mean, you can make the person look like a, a demon, you know? <laughs> That's not our vibe. That's not our vibe, you guys. But I feel like when people have super vibrant eyes like this, it just makes it look so cool. It gives it that Instagram pop. Que queremos. Gives, it, gives us that Instagram pop that we want. Maybe just bring the exposure down a little bit more, just like that, to bring it all back nice and even. And that is it, guys. That is our golden dream. I hope you guys like it. If you do, please give me a like. Let me know what you think. One more thing you can do as well. If you have other pictures, you can hit Control-C and hit Copy. Then you can copy all of these. That's another way that you could use these to make a preset. Guys, that is the end of it. I'm going to say goodbye here because, yeah. It's been crazy. I've just finished the photo shoot, came back here to film this for you. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for the support. I will see you in the next video. Let me know how this goes. And yeah, I hope to hear from you guys soon.